Sarah Palin braved the snow and a vocal crowd. A core group of Tea Partiers surrounded by a larger pro-union group at a rally in Madison today. These are the front lines in the battle for the future of our country. Ground zero in what's become a national debate over public unions' rights versus taxpayers' rights. Madison, you held your ground. Your governor did the right thing. Two months ago, this Capitol drew tens of thousands of protesters to fight Governor Scott Walker's call to limit state workers' power to collective bargaining. Tea Party member John Pridgick says what happened in Wisconsin is a wake-up call for the rest of the nation. The government needs to go on a diet, and it starts here with grassroots efforts. Tea Party rallies around the country marking the movement's two-year anniversary attracted the faithful, but also offered a platform for potential 2012 GOP presidential contenders. Minnesota's former Governor Tim Pawlenty was in Iowa, site of the first caucus. Real estate mogul turned reality star Donald Trump was in Boca Raton. All I want to do is see this guy's birth certificate. Although the state of Hawaii continues to insist President Obama was born there. Over a matter of just three years, a movement begun to protest high taxes has become the most polarizing and powerful political movement in decades, one that provides a stage for Sarah Palin. And the 2012 election begins here. Even though Sarah Palin has not announced any intentions of a presidential run, she took on the current president with gusto today and seems to be more than ready to be a player in that presidential process. Russ? Cynthia Bowers in Madison, Wisconsin tonight. Thanks, Cynthia.